CCC family. It's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today we're going to learn how to do the raised wave stitch. So what that means basically is this is the wave stitch, but it's raised because there is an actual row that you just do uh, front posts on. So that's what makes it um, become raised, okay? So this is a Hobby Lobby yarn, and I will put it in the description box below the name of it. I don't have it handy right now. Um, but people always want to know what yarn I'm using. You can use any yarn you want to. I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook, but for this project, I would just use whatever hook coincides with the specific yarn that you're wanting to use for this. Now, I am making a blanket out of this. I have a friend who has a beach home, and um, I'm using, uh, you know, the tan and the blues and stuff like that. I may actually also take a picture of that and put it in the thumbnail. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll see what it looks like. But at any rate, I'll put it in the video so you can see it as well. So I'm making a beach blanket with this actual stitch and it's coming together absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's actually a, um, a throw, okay? But anyway, so, and you will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to do your ends. Um, this, this is a variegated uh, stitch, so um, this changes colors as you go, which looks beautiful with this pattern. But as I said, if you're wanting to make a specific beach blanket, you know, with the little turtles and everything on it, you could use this. Um, and at that point, you would want to possibly change colors. Like I said, I'm using, you know, the tan and the light blue, the dark blue and the darker blue to really mimic the ocean. And so I am changing colors when I, get, when I do that. But you can do anything that you want to do. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. I'm just going to be using some light blue. I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. I'll also put this in the description. But this is just for the actual tutorial I'm going to use this for. And this is in multiples of 19 plus four at the end of your multiples of 19, okay? So that means you would just do 19, 19, 19, 19 uh, chains until you got to the uh, amount that you would want for the length of whatever you're making. And then at the end, you would add four more, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three sets of 19 and then four at the end. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 16, 17, 18 and 19. So I finished my how many I'm going to do for this video of the 19s. And so now I'm going to do chain four, one, two, three, and four, just like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm right there is where my thumb is. And you can hold it there if you want to, because that's where you're going to need to go in. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to count over four, two, three, four, and then into the fifth stitch, you're going to put a double crochet. So you'll put a double crochet. And then when you just turned, this one counts as one as well. So in this stitch, you're going to put in total four double crochets. So we already did one. That's our second one. This is our third. And this is our fourth. Okay. So technically in total now, we have five double crochets there counting that turn there. Then in the very next stitch, you're going to put a double crochet. Okay? Then you're going to skip a stitch and put a double crochet. There's one. You're gonna skip a stitch and put another double crochet. There's two. You're gonna skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, put another double crochet, that's three. Skip a stitch, go into the next, that's four. Skip a stitch, go into the next, that's five. Skip a stitch, go into the next, that's six. Skip a stitch, go into the next, that's seven. Skip a stitch, go into the next, and that's eight. So let's just make sure I got that right. So we started off with our uh, four double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. Then we did one double crochet, and then we should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we skipped a stitch in between each of those, okay? So in our very next stitch, we're going to put five double crochets. One, two, 
three, four, and five. Then we're gonna go into our next stitch and we're gonna put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So this is what it looks like so far. It's going to be a little bit uh, topsy-turvy, turny on you. That's okay. It will all straighten out, okay? Then you're going to go into your next available stitch, and you're going to put one double crochet. And now we're going to do the skip a stitch just like we did before, and we're going to do that eight times. So we're going to skip our next stitch, go into the next, one double crochet, skip a stitch, go in the next, that's our second one. Skip a stitch, go into the next. That's our third. Skip a stitch, go into the next. That's our fourth. Skip a stitch, go into the next. That's our fifth. Skip a stitch, go into the next. That's, what is that, our sixth? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Skip a stitch, go into the next, that's our seventh. Skip a stitch, go into the next, that's our eighth, okay? And now what we're gonna do is just like we did before, we're gonna go into our next stitch and we're going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're gonna go into your next stitch and put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're gonna go into your next available stitch and you're going to put one double crochet. And then you're going to do the eight again, where we skip. So again, skip one, go into the next. That's one. Skip one, go into the next. That's two. Skip one, go into the next. That's three. Skip one, go into the next, that's four. Skip one, go into the next, that's five. Skip one, go into the next, that's six. Skip one, go into the next, that's seven. Skip one, go into the next, that's eight. And in the very last stitch that we have, our last stitch, we're going to work five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And you can tighten that up if you need to, where mine was loose. And let's look at what we've done so far, okay? So like I said, this is gonna be a little topsy-turvy, that's all right. But let's just look what we have, okay? So these are going to be our waves. And as you can see from this, my little swatch that I've worked up here, this is what it looks like. And as you can tell, it flattens out as you go, okay? So to revamp, we started off with four double crochets, our first turn there, uh, counting as one, so that's technically five. Then right next to that, we did one double crochet, and then we skipped one and did eight. So in each one, we skipped and then went into the next. And then right after our eighth, we did five double crochets, and then another set of five double crochets, and then in the very next stitch, we put that one double crochet, and then we do the eight again. And then again, our sets of five, 
The main thing you want to remember here, and the one thing that you can forget, is after your sets of five and before, you want to double crochet right next to the end there, okay? So don't skip that, all right? So let's move on to our second row. So now you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Now what I found works best for this stitch is to use a stitch marker when you do this because it can be hard to find this first stitch later and I'll show you what I mean, okay? So we chained one, we turned our work and we're going to do a front post single crochet right around this first one here, right around this first double crochet. So we're going to go right behind the stitch, pull our yarn through and do a single crochet. That is a front post. But now what I'm going to do, because look at that, you can tell that's gonna be hard to find later. So I'm gonna set my hook down and I'm, I'm just using one of these little uh, clips here because I can't stand the typical um, uh, stitch markers. Or you can use a piece of yarn, but I just use these little clips here for this one. And then I'm gonna place that right there and that way I'll know when I turn my work where I need to start, okay? So we've got that there, and now we're going to keep doing front post single crochets all the way down. So again, I'm going behind my double crochet, pulling up my yarn, and doing a single crochet. And again, around this one, pulling up my yarn, single crochet. And the next, pull up my yarn, and do a single crochet. And you're gonna just do this around every double crochet all the way down to the end, okay? Just like this. So you see, and this is what it looks like. It's raising up, just like that. And that's what gives it its um, raised, uh, the raised stitch look, okay? So just keep going down and do front post single crochets. And when we get to the end, I'll meet you back up okay, again. So we're coming up on the end of our row of front post single crochets. And I wanted to show you these last two stitches here. Um, so that you would know what it looks like. So I'm going to go through this next to last one and then we've got this one right here on the very end. You want to make sure that you go around that one as well because you want to keep your count the same. So we go around that last one uh, front post single crochet just the same way. So then what you would do is you would chain four. This is for round three and that's really the repeat. What I just showed you uh, that first round that we did, and then the second round of the front post single crochets, that's all this is, it's just a repeat of that. So this is very easy, but I wanna show you again um, what this third row is gonna look like, okay? So you wanna chain four, one, two, three, and four, and you wanna turn your work. And in this first stitch right here, you're going to put four double crochets because that first one, the chain of four, counted as a double crochet. Two, three, and four. So technically, we have five, okay? Then, you're going to go right into your next stitch and put one double crochet. And then you're gonna start skipping a stitch and putting a double crochet for your eight that you need. So skip your next stitch, go into the next, put one double crochet, skip a stitch, go into the next, put one double crochet, skip a stitch, go into the next, put one double crochet. So that's three. And again, four. And again, five. And again, six. And again, seven. And skip one last one and go into the next for our eighth. Okay? 
So that's what that looks like so far. Then you're going to go into your very next stitch and you're going to put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to go into your next stitch and you're going to put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then in your very next available stitch, you're going to put one double crochet and then you're going to skip one and do one double crochet and you're going to do that eight times. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now you're at the top of this wave and you wanna do your five again. So go into the very next stitch, put five double crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. Then go into your next stitch and put five double crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. And then into your neck, your very next available stitch, you're going to put one double crochet, and then you're going to do the skip, uh, skip a stitch and do a double crochet eight times. So skip a stitch, go into your next, one double crochet, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Skip one, go into your next, and that's eight. And then this is why we have this stitch marker here, because in your very next stitch after you do that eighth double crochet, you're going to put five double crochet. And like I said, it would be hard to see. So I'm gonna undo that. And I know now that I need to work into there and put five double crochets. So go under both loops. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you will chain one turn your work, and then your next row again will be the front post single crochets. So you would go into your first available stitch, right here, this first double crochet on the very end here, and you will put your front post single crochet. And it's this stitch right here, and it would be good to keep that loose. That's where you're going to put your stitch marker, okay? So I'm gonna move my hook over, and right there, I'm going to put my stitch marker right where I just made that. And then I'm going to keep going, doing my front post single crochets all the way down. And that's all there is to it. You're just going to keep doing that. You're going to be repeating that. And it's just going to make a lovely pattern for whatever you want to use it for. Yeah, like I said, if you want to make a beach blanket or an afghan, a throw, a baby blanket, um, a... Uh, placemats for your table. Um, there's just all kinds of things. You could even make a pocketbook with a stitch. It's just absolutely beautiful, okay? And so let's turn this over and take a look at what we've done so far. I'm gonna take my hook out and um, I've got yarn everywhere, but this is what it looks like so far, okay? And then you would just keep going on and on. So while I was crocheting here, I was thinking what I might do, um, is actually do another tutorial using this pattern and show you how to do the actual beach blanket with the little turtles on it. 
Um, I don't haven't seen a lot of tutorials on that, so I think that would be really cool to do. It makes a wonderful gift, um, and it's just wonderful to have for yourself. Um, if you wanted to take it to the beach or if you just love the beach um, and you can put it in your home. So um, yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. So I will show you that blanket in my next tutorial and I'll show you how to change colors with this and how to do the little turtles and everything. So keep an eye out for that video. And if you want to just get started on your own, just go for it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please like, share, and subscribe as you've probably already seen in this video, but I'm going to remind you again because it helps so much. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching guys. I'll see you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.